The first thing you need to know is that the gems that have fascinated mankind for centuries have deep origins and are linked to intense geological processes. Many of these gems are formed in volcanic rocks known as igneous rocks, but how exactly do these rocks create such precious treasures? It all starts with the formation of igneous rocks, which are formed when magma, a mixture of molten rock and minerals from the Earth's mantle or crust, cools and solidifies. The mantle, which makes up 84% of the Earth's volume, contains minerals that, under extreme pressure and heat, form rare stones such as peridot and diamonds. When magma rises to the surface in volcanic eruptions, it carries with it minerals and substances that, over millions of years, become precious gems. Diamonds, for example, are one of these precious stones. They are formed at extreme depths where the temperature and pressure are so intense that diamond crystals form in the Earth's mantle. These diamonds are brought to the surface by a type of igneous rock that I'm sure you've heard of called kimberlite. But in case you don't know or have never heard of it, kimberlite is a rock formed from materials from deep within the Earth. When the magma that forms kimberlite rises to the surface, it brings with it diamonds that are trapped in its rocky matrix. Although not all kimberlite contains diamonds, this rock is one of the main sources for the extraction of these gems. Over time, erosion and other geological processes expose these kimberlites, making the search for diamonds easier. 